Hey everyone YouTube, how is everyone doing? So, there's been a few videos on YouTube lately on the Kukris, at least from, from the folks that I, um, I'm subscribed to. So I decided to do this vid. I finally finished up my Kukri. I'm not sure if I can get it all in the camera. Let's see, this is just the first half. The top is a 6 inch sharpened edge. And the bottom is a 13 inch sharpened edge. So my version of a Kukri. Um, just to explain, uh, I think I've mentioned it before. I don't know if I, I can't, can I stand by here, here or does this fit? Just wanted to explain that when the Kukri gets this large, which is about 24, 25 inches, I have to measure it again. I think it's 25 inches. Um, they get much narrower and they look like a bent sword, and it just doesn't do it for me. So this pretty much captures your traditional kukri um, uh, proportions. Carbon fiber handles, four titanium pins. I'm not sure if the light is getting it. Four titanium pins. I'm not even sure if I'm in, in the camera, because I can't see the, uh, the viewfinder, the, the screen from here. Um, Ruby Red... G10 liners. All right, so I switched it over so I could see what I'm doing and so I can get the uh, light to reflect off the blade. So we have six inches sharpened here and the blade doesn't actually start until here. Let me just bring it to the camera. Maybe if I turn this light on, I don't know if that helps. So the blade doesn't start until here because I, I put it this way so you could Use this for draw cutting if you have to draw cut or push down or baton. You would know where the sharp edge is. The sharp edge is where the shiny area. But it doesn't really start until here, the sharp edge. Just in case your hand slipped, I'm just giving you a little bit of leeway. So let's see how sharp she is. Let me just make sure I'm in, in the camera. Just getting the loops. Kind of hard to, mani to manipulate this upside down and, and get the uh, get the cuts. Let's see the bottom part. How sharp she is. And obviously over here it's not supported. As you can see, I'm just. I'm pretty sure the camera's picking that up. Maybe I just have to cut through. Let's see if I can get a curly cue. Curly cue, where are you? Where's the camera? There you go. I'm trying to find the camera. There we go. Okay, so, you know. Where's that tip? Whoa. Cut the paper sideways on that one. Can I shave the paper? Is that, is that in camera? Maybe I gotta get closer. I'm shaving the paper. Ah, okay. Shaving paper sharp. So here we go, my kukri is ready, and uh, this weekend I hope, weather permitting, to be able to do a chop it up Sunday. Guys, t let me know what you think, let's look at the other side, let me know what you think. Again, I don't know if it's uh, the front side of my camera, I can see what I'm doing, but the resolution is not as good. And following this vid, I'll put some making of vids, uh, random clips. So if you're interested to, uh, to watch me make this uh, kukri, uh, you're more than welcome to watch. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll stop this. Um, I'll stop here. I'll switch to the back of the camera again so I could show you the grain pattern that sometimes you'll get on 440C. It's pretty funny. This, this big thing throws it out of proportion when I'm... Oh, well, there I am. 
Hello. Throws it out of proportion when uh, when you're pointing to the camera. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I'm going to switch it over so you see the high resolution so you can get the grain. And I'll put the making of after that. And hopefully this weekend I do a Chop It Up Sunday vid. It is a heavy knife. It's Let's see if I could get this thing to cut on the blade. I just can't get enough grip on the paper. Okay, so stay tuned if you want to see the uh, the making of. Here we go. Here we go. That was cool. All right, guys. Chop it up Sunday. I'm hoping to get. I'm hoping to chop a two by four with one strike with this guy. I think it's doable. See you then. And to all, have a big knife. Okay, so as I said, let me see if I can get the Hada on the camera. So, um, for some reason, my camera is just... What it's doing, it's picking up the fine metal pieces that are in the air. Um, I guess the microphone or the speaker has a, a magnet. And it's picking up the fine metal pieces, and it's just going to hell. It's just not working. So I, I can't say for sure if this is going to work or not. What I'll do is record it. And if you can see the hotter grain, great. If you can't, and it's not hotter grain, it's just the grain of the steel, which makes it look like it's been folded, you know, a million times. It's a very fine grain. So I'm trying to... Trying to see if I could just turn it just right so you could see the grain. And I guess you would see it just below the bright reflection. Just outside of there. So I need to turn the blade around gently. But then the camera will then refocus or go out of focus. And then you lose it. So this is just an experiment. And if it works, great. If not... I go right to the making of.
Okay, so um, I did a rough cut out of the um, of the scales, um, carbon fiber with uh, red liners, ruby red liners, and um, five sixteenths, one quarter, and three sixteenths pins. These I needed to uh, to uh, sand down to fit because they were a little larger than uh, five sixteenths. So that took a little bit of time. Uh, this one's number two because it fits this hole better. <laughs> They're uh, not exact to uh, 5 sixteenths. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you this before I start the, uh, the grinding of the scales down to the tang of the kukri. So I'm going to try to get uh, try to get the rough shape out or the shape out. And then here I'm going to put some sort of pattern space this out. Like I said, it's a rough one. So um, I'm going to space this out somehow and put some sort of a, maybe a hook just to make it look a little, you know, devilish, demonic. Maybe put like a little claw or hook look to it rather than just your typical rounded scale. I don't know, just to give it a little style to it. All right, on to the grinder. Okay, so now it's time to uh, dip the uh, kukri in the ferric chloride. Um, just moving it around because that glare looked, made it look a little funny. Okay, so I've got a PVC pipe. It's three inches in diameter. It's just what happened, what I happened to have in this shop. And uh, I put it in the barbecue uh, at about 300 degrees, 350 or so until it got soft. And then I stepped on it to flatten it out. There it goes. So I flattened it out. Um, and it came a little short because the kukri is longer than the piece of PVC that I bought from Home Depot. These are prefab and it's about 24 inches long. You can see it sticks out a little bit. So I added a, um, a collar on it, a coupling, just to extend it. And because of the curve, I wish I had a 4-inch piece, because of the curve it barely fits. 
So we're going to see if I can make it work. If not, I'm going to have to dip it twice and get a 4-inch piece and flatten it out. Uh, so I thought it was pretty cool that you can take PVC pipe and warm it up or heat it up. You had to use gloves because after 300 degrees, it's pretty hot to the touch. Uh, and then shape it. I thought that was pretty cool. So the rest of it is pretty trivial. I've got the ferrochloride solution down there, and it goes in there. Uh, that length is uh, 24 inches, and then there's a cap on the bottom, which is not shown in the picture here. Uh, so it's more than 24 inches, and because I've made it nice and narrow, one quart and a half is all it needs to fill that up to the top, a quart and a half. Otherwise, I'd be using maybe twice as much. You know, I could have gotten a much larger piece of pipe, circular, and then there's a lot of ferrochloride uh, acid you need to fill in there. So this actually allows you to use less. So I think that's a pretty neat idea. Okay. Looking for my hanger. Looks like I need to top it off. I need to add a little more. I have it here. And it doesn't make it. <laughs> it doesn't make it. Oh boy. It doesn't make it. Let me pick it up. It must have changed overnight when I was working on this last night. It it was just right. And I guess the, um, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, the PVC, which was so warm, maybe it um, went back a little more round than, than it was before. So it doesn't go down to the bottom. It's, it's getting caught somewhere. It doesn't make it. Alright, so I'm going to have to figure out something. Okay, so I turned it around, and uh, I guess it fits better the other way. So I just spun the uh, kukui around the other way. So now it's submerged. Good thing. <laughs>